Earthquake, Labyrinth and Tiny Temper on Monday morning, freshly squeezed with the team of Anus. <laughs> oh, hang on. Wow. <laughs> that did not work. <laughs> that doesn't work that way, does it? You know what you said to me before? You said... <laughs> Do you want to talk about cat poo? I did. You did say I that. I said I in the next talk break, I want to talk about cat poo. Which we will be talking about very shortly. <laughs> Funny that. Mm. What a segue. Aww. Shout out to Brad. Shout out to DJ Josh and Andy P. Loving the fresh set last night. And also a big shout out to Kane and Amelia. If you want your uh, shout out read out, it's pretty easy. One double nine youth for 55 cents. Now back to the cat poo. Back this to is, the cat poo. <laughs> this is the important part of the morning. Well, I'll take you right back to where it all began. <laughs> Are you a bit of a coffee lover? I do like a morning coffee. Like a morning then. coffee, yeah. get you going. Yeah, exactly. I get do. you waking up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There is a coffee available yeah. that costs $400 a kilogram. <sighs> That's pricey. That's decent stuff, right? But well, what's the main ingredient? That's what I want to know. Well, the main ingredient officially <laughs> is coffee. Okay. However, it's how it gets to where it goes. Yeah. There's apparently a... <laughs> it's an animal called a Kopi Luwak, right? And it's a small cat-like animal <laughs> in Asia. It's a feline. Yeah. yeah, looks like a cat, but it's got a weird name. <laughs> In Asia, it goes around eating yeah. coffee beans. Right, so it eats the coffee beans, yeah. digests them, poops them out, down the other end. Somebody goes around, collects it up, <laughs> grinds it down, and it's supposed to be awesome. Highly prized for its <laughs> smooth flavour and bitterless taste. <laughs> and the, what we were mainly talking about when it came to this yeah. is that who was the first? Who was the first person to go, right, that cat thing pooed that out. I'm going to put it in the coffee. It'll put it in a drink, percolate it up and go, oh, God, that's good. The concentration on your face while reading that was absolutely superb. I had to concentrate. I I'm reading. crying. I'm a guy. I can only do one thing at a time. So, in other words, uh, a cat did a poo. Yes. And someone picked it up yes. and said, I'm going to make a beverage out of this. Yeah. But I think that the reason it's so expensive because they take a lot of time to sift through the poo, get the <laughs> coffee beans out. Give them a good scrub a dub, and then they. <laughs> but apparently, because it's digested, it gets rid of the kind of bitter taste that can be in a lot of coffee. Mm. It makes it really smooth. <laughs> but yeah, so if you are a bit of a coffee lover, I highly recommend yeah. Cat Poo Coffee. <laughs> Coming to a shop near you. I actually don't know the the brand, yeah. and I couldn't say it on air if, even if I did. But um, <laughs> if you're a real coffee lover, ask around. Yeah. Go to your local coffee shop and say, do you have cat poo coffee? Do, do you know of any strange thing like that that is uh, from a, a normal type product and has been turned into something crazy like that? Let us know. One double nine youth 55 cents. You with the A-team, Adam and Anthony, this Monday morning. Very nice and warm outside the studios. Mm, actually, I want to hear from people if they've had cat poo coffee. Yeah, that's going to be hard to find, I reckon, because yeah. I've never heard of it. Yeah, who's got 400 bucks a kilo? <sighs> but if you have had it, let us know, because we want to know. We want to know. Fresh, 92.7, you're listening to the A-team. Is memories, David Getter and Kid Cuddy. Uh, plenty of good memories, mate. Ooh. Always good memories. Ooh.